Hello, welcome. This is uh, Nimbo's video blog series about Solution Manager. Today I wanted to talk about Central System Monitoring. So today we have Solution Manager 7.1, which has a fantastic uh, component called Technical Operations. Uh, the problem with Technical Operations is that if you need some quick and dirty monitoring, it can take some effort to, to get Technical Operations up and running, and we still have this compo component called CCMS in Solution Manager 7.1. Don't get me wrong, Technical Operations is fantastic. You have flash dashboards, you have, multiple, you have multiple monitor templates. We can activate and deactivate and set up uh, automated service desk tickets and automated emails. Technical operations is absolutely fantastic. But the truth remains, in order to get technical operations to work, we have to do what's called managed system config. And that can take between four and eight hours per system. So what do you need to do if you're on a project or if you're in production today and you need to set up some quick monitoring? We have central system monitoring, CCMS, been around for years. We've had to use CCMS agents before, so we've had three different types of agents, CCMS 4X, CCMS R, CCMS Ping, three different agents. So, you, so in order to set up CCMS, we would have to go deploy out these CCMS agents. Now SAP made it even easier for us. With the new SAP host agent, which is downward compatible and installed on every SAP system, you no longer need to deploy a separate CCMS agent. So let me walk you through the scenario. We want to set up some quick and dirty database monitoring for some systems. Our transaction logs being backed up, do we have enough disk space to support the database? CCMS can do this and do it quickly. You can get it done in under an hour. So now we, we have SAP host agent on systems, NetWeaver 7.0 and above. The SAP host agent can act as a CCMS agent for you. So on an already existing system, we can use CCMS, RZ, RZ21 to add a system and connect to that host agent without having to deploy a separate, a separate executable or binary at the operating system level. So right now what I'm going to do is dive, on, dive into a scenario where we're going to add, CC, add a BW73 monitoring to CCMS without having to deploy a CCMS agent and we're only going to use the, the previously installed SAP host agent. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to set up that quick monitoring with CCMS using the SAP host agent. As I said before, we don't need to deploy the CCMS agent. We can use SAP's host agent, which is part of every NetWeaver installation, and it's downward compatible. So we can use the SAP host agent 720 on 7.0 systems, 7.01 systems, 7.11 systems, etc. We can use that new host agent on all systems, so you have one agent to deploy. That agent is also upgraded whenever you do a DAA deployment as well, something to keep note. Not to stray here, we're going to set up quick monitoring. Let's say we wanted to set up monitoring for either uh, database backups or file disk space, right? Something fairly quick, easy, it's essential to every operation of every landscape. What we're going to do first is run RZ21. Within RZ21, we're going to click System Overview and Display Overview. From here, we see the systems that, it's, that we're connected to right now. I'm going to go ahead and connect to a BW system that has no CCMS agent installed. It's only running that host agent, as I said before. We click Create. We select the type of system. System ID. Host the server. I'm going to go ahead. It's a single server, so there's no logon group. I haven't even deployed, I, I don't even have CCM, CSM rag over there right now, so I'm just going to connect to client 000 using DDIC, right? We know DDIC exists in SAPL. Uh, we can use it to pull that monitoring information very quickly and easily. Next, again, you know, long term, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be using CCMS, I'm just setting up some quick and dirty monitoring. For here, I'm going to go ahead and use Solman Admin. And then lastly, we have to enter in the OS level administrator and password, right? So the, it's SIDADM account on the OS, and then we're going to enter its password in here. From there, we've added the system, we click Save. You can see down below, it's generating the ports, creating the RFCs, etc., etc. And see, the, again, I'm not trying to downplay the importance of technical operations. That is the key, that is the path moving forward. But if you need, again, something quick and dirty, you can see here, in under five minutes, I can activate disk space monitoring, database backup monitoring, dump monitoring, security monitoring, etc. So it's successfully inserted into storage. I hit back. 
Now I can see VW is listed here and it says online. I'm ready to do some uh, central system monitoring on the system right now. All right, we're going to go to technical infrastructure, configure central system, assign central auto reactions. I'm going to select my system here, click find. I want to do backups. Right? I like that alert. I like this CCMS alert here. I want to check on backups. I'm going to assign it to the email alert that I've set up. What does that email alert look like? It's pretty simple. I'm saying the sender's DDIC. It's sending to this email address. Your recipient type is you for email, and I'm setting the time zone, unless you enjoy reading emails in universal standard time. Uh, and then we go ahead and say assign central auto reaction. We're going to say immediately after each assignment. And now the alert is assigned. Let's say I wanted to check this for system free space. Uh, file system free space. This checks the entire file system for free space. This is something that's it's, it's very menial, right? We should be able to monitor free space on any system. Uh, I can select it for BWD. I can select to my other system called ECD. I can add that there, hit assign. Boom, the alert's assigned. Maybe I want to assign OVOP dumps, right? So let's go ahead and search dumps. And short dumps. I want to know about all short dumps on this box. Again, I highlight the system. I highlight the MTE class, the alert. I hit assign. It's assigned to that system. Maybe I want to go check on these alerts. We use RZ20 for that transaction. I've gone ahead and, and uh, set up a, a monitor template called, for, called nimble, dem, nimble Demo for entire system. Uh, I want to check to say, well, what systems is this... CCMS template monitoring, all right? I can hit the change button. I can see here it's set to R3 system all, right? It's gonna look at all systems. By default, it's set to current. I set it to all, so it looks at everything. Or if I wanted to set up a template for each system, I could highlight it's a specific system. So I've said all, that's fine. I wanna go ahead and cancel out of here because it's already set up. I double click, hit entire system. It's fetching all the CCMS alerts. And look, here's BWD. So literally in under five minutes, I've added central system monitoring to, C to Solution Manager for this BW system using the SAP host agent. I didn't need to go out and deploy a CCMS agent. That system already had a host agent installed, CCMS connected to it, it's reading information, and now I have the ability to do alerts. Absolutely fantastic. So file systems. I remember I added the file system free space. Well, I have multiple drives mounted on that server, and you can see I'll, I'm pretty good on file systems, so I won't be receiving an alert there. All right, dialogue, log on low quality, all of these things we're monitoring it proactively now. Well, this sums it up. What I wanted to, again, the point to drive home was the ability to, to quickly add systems to CCMS monitoring using that SAP host agent, and we no longer need this, the dedicated CCMS agent. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you soon.